Hello there. Now this video is under 4 seconds and you might not believe when I say that. I created this simple video inside a very normal laptop. I'm sure that you have a laptop on your end also. If you have a PC, it's better. But I just want to highlight that I've created this exact video with a very low quality laptop. So that means you can also make this on your own. With the help of my tutorial right here, I'm going to take you step by step. So let me just open one more example so you can see it. So this would be my second example. As you can see right there, earlier it was a girl, a woman. Right now it's a very handsome guy in an office clothing in a green park. Now please take note that I can teach you how to do this one with no problem at all. And now let's begin. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Runway ML. It's going to be this website right here. Let me just go to it. So this should be the landing page you should be seeing also on your end. So I'm going to give you a bonus tip, a little additional information if you stay at the end of the video. So please do so. So let's get started. So again, this is going to be Runway ML. We're going to use this website. We're going to utilize it to make those videos. This is the link runwayml.com and then once you're here simply click on sign up for free this one open your google account and it should look like this this should be the landing page inside runwayml after logging in now once you log in there will be a thing that called tokens to check on them you need to click some templates first but before we click some templates i want to show you some exact things to take note here so on the left side you have home Runway TV, assets, and so on and so forth. Don't be nervous if you don't understand what they are. They're perfectly or basically, they're your own settings. For example, under categories of videos, if you want to change your videos, if you want to make videos, simply choose videos and then generate videos, edit the videos and generate audio. Same goes with images. These are just categories. You can minimize them so you won't be afraid or nervous of seeing them. Now this one's right here, these are basically the tools inside Runaway ML. You have video to video, text image to video, remove background text to image, and another text to image. Also, these are the tutorials. So if you're not satisfied with my video right here, but I'm gonna make sure you're satisfied. But anyway, just for discussion purposes, Runaway ML has a tutorial specifically teaching you how to create the exact video on your example. And now for this one, these are your best friend, the templates. For example, you have no idea on how to start. If you don't want to start from scratch, basically choose a template here and work with it. So let me just show you how to use templates. For example, I want this one. I'm going to click on it right now. As you can see, once I click on it, it will go as a reference. Now once here, I can simply click on generate and use a reference image to create a new video. If I click on text, or image description, I can add some description here to add some prompt. For example, green forest. Um, let's just say no blur, highly cinematic, etc. etc. Basically, you can use them as templates. So you'll have two examples here. You can either enter text or enter an image. And remember when I say there were tokens or coins inside here? So once you're using a free trial, you're gonna have what they call seconds. For now, I only have 23 seconds left. Each second of the video generate uses 5 credits and you have 117 left. Basically, right now, I only have 23 seconds left. Let's start with text. Basically, for text, enter text here, you get a video. Enter an image here, you're gonna get a video. So for the text, under it, let me just show the parameters. So please don't change anything here by default. Especially if you don't have a paid plan, don't touch anything on this section, the first button. Second button would be the motion on how intense the movement of the video would be. I'm going to be in default because I found satisfactory with the 5 motion. So camera motion, you can put it as a horizontal, pan, roller, zoom. Basically, this is a new one, especially the motion brush. So for motion brush, basically enter anything here for example if i choose the example photo and then i can input a brush and basically have fun with it i can type anything inside that highlight template or highlighted area of the brush and make some magic so let's try the text first again let me just type in 
uh, let's say red hair or beautiful by the way guys the key here let me just give you a personal tip okay so the personal tip for you is make sure you are accurate as possible so beautiful red hair woman in a green forest let me just place it right there accurate and simple that's the key here and then once you have it i think i have double t there again i'm gonna stick with five motion i'm not gonna change anything here i'm just gonna change style for this one i'm gonna go with 3d cartoon and simply click on generate before i click on it you'll see that four seconds um logo so i will deduct four seconds so my 20 seconds left click on it and this should be the platform right now this will roughly take two minutes i'll get back to you once it's here now welcome back to the video this is gonna be our result right now regarding the beautiful red hair woman in a green forest so if you play right there the motion is gonna be good the hair the movement is pretty good for me and if you're satisfied click on this logo to download it to your pc and you have a new video added to your collection so that's gonna be the first um technically first item on the tutorial let's go back to the landing page because i want to give you some more tips here so again text to image and for now we're gonna focus on image if i click an upload file here let me just choose a sample photo i got let me just look for one here give me a second okay i want to use this one i'm just still looking for it the perfect one for us i think i'm gonna go with this this anime i got for mid journey it's a pretty good ai image and let's wait for it to finish uploading so welcome back it's been uploaded with us and right now before i proceed on generating i'm gonna talk about the camera motion so if you click on camera motion if you choose horizontal as you can see on the preview it will move as you see fit this is gonna be the pan action after the generation of video so for example i move it right there i pan it left i roll it over there the final video would do the same thing here so let me just reset i don't want that i don't want my thing to look weird okay give me a second here maybe i'm gonna do right now zoom zoom is much better looking and just for fun let's have some horizontal action right there perfect and a little bit more vertical just for the sake of discussion click on save make sure you click on save okay and once it's done simply click on generate and that will have your fun right now i'll get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video this is going to be a result right now and let's play it with the camera motion added as you can see right there the camera motion is doing a little bit tricky with the eyes but the idea here would be the camera motion right i suggest only choose one only choose one camera motion don't add or especially don't contradict if you move it to the left don't move it to the right if you move it upward don't move it downward also so one at a time so the video remains as good as it possibly can so i play right there it changes a little bit but the idea there is the camera pan action so if you are satisfied with that one click on download so let's move on with our last item for the video before i give you the bonus tip let me just go back the domain page and once you're here again text to image make sure you click on this one and for now let's go with image to image one more time because for this video or rather this part of the video i'm going to talk about motion brush if i click on motion brush right now basically it will ask me to add a photo to have fun with it i'm going to choose this one and then double click on it so basically with this one tap anywhere to begin this is the brush size on this area right here i'm going to minimize it you have two options brush or erase i'm going to go first with brush brush number one and basically i'm going to go with the hair i want the movement with the hair okay so everything with the hair highlighted as much as you can it's just like coloring your book for any school teacher out there or any student that you love coloring it's much like coloring your coloring book that's what we're going to do here we're just coloring the hair making sure it's highlighted every single bit of it because it's gonna be very important regarding the movement so magic brush is more on movement it's just asking for our help to make sure we highlight everything that needs movement so i'm gonna leave the hair 
on this part is overlapping the neck. I, do, I just want to make sure and play safe that it won't overlap the neck or move the neck also. So regarding the movement, again if you move it to the left, please don't move it to the right also. If you move it vertical, don't place it downwards right here. So make sure you're synchronized as much as you can. Let's just for example, if I move it left, I'm gonna stay left. I won't move it upward or downward to contradict. I'm gonna stay at left. Let me just zero out this one. So you won't have any problem. Perfect. Same goes with this one. This is gonna be Z axis and ambient noise. I'm gonna stay at zero. And basically that's it for the brush. Click on save and click on generate. And let's wait for this one to finish. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. And right now this is going to be the result of the magic brush. So play on it. As you can see right there, its movement is basically regarding the hair only. We still have some finishing touches to do here. And that's going to be the last part of the video, the bonus. So simply make sure you download this one. Because right now we're going to combine everything. So choose any or use any editing platform you want if you have photoshop if you have adobe if you have premiere Pro, da vinci or even CapCut. but for me i'm gonna use my handy dandy filmola let me just open filmora so i've already added two of my video earlier let's add some more here i'm gonna go with this two right there so i have a total of four basically what you want to do even in, if you have adobe premiere pro Make sure you highlight everything first, drag them at the timeline at the same time. That's the key idea here. Don't do it individually. Make sure you drop them on the timeline at the same time. Drop them. And then basically, they're the same frame right now. So before there should be a thing here that says, if you want to make sure they're the same frame rate, make sure you click on OK. Let me check if I can show it to you guys. Let me just delete everything here. I'm gonna click on new project. And then just click on no right there. Click on the videos, the use. So I can show you what I mean here. Again, everything, highlight, drop everything at the same time. And there we have it. Make sure you click on match to media. Everything at the same time, okay? Because if you do it individually, you won't have this alongside all of your media. And they won't have the same frame rate. That's the important part here, okay? I can't highlight this anymore, so click on OK. And basically for this one, it's just going to be finishing touches. Make sure everyone is going to be transitioned smoothly. If you want to add transitions like so, or minimize the length. Again, if you want to minimize, simply hover your mouse on the desired length. But the idea here, the main key point would be the frame rate. It's already solved, so make sure just place them on your timeline at the same time as you can see there if you want to add some transition simply do so i'm not really stopping you guys so for example that one place some transition right there transition power perfect one more time i'm going to show you how it looks like if you want to place some transition right there as you can see here and there we have it if you want to place some audio of course you can do so as well but the idea here, again, just want to highlight, make sure you place them at the key point or key timeline at the same time. So if you're satisfied with the quality of your editing, click on export. Make sure you find the desktop or whatever folder you're saving them. And basically click on export. Now, I'm just going to wait for it to finish before I end the video. And with that one, it's already so downloaded. Let me just remove this. So right now, this is going to be our final product. If you click on play, all of our four videos will be in here. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good looking if you're going to ask me. So just add some more voice actor there, voice command, or voice over. It would look perfect. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.